Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Today I'm doing another rather quick weekday uh, dinner idea for you guys. Um, you can see I'm starting out with some frozen meatballs. I'm just getting them right into my Instapot. So, you know, frozen meatballs are basically cooked. You're just going to heat them through and get them a nice little brown color going on them. And then I'm moving right on along with some rice. Um, I'm just going to get that uh, rinsed off real good and into the Instapot. Guys, today's meal is inspired from my prepper pantry. <laughs> that's right. Sometimes I go through and see some things that's in there that I need to hurry up and use up so that it won't go bad or you know expire uh the meatballs are like i said frozen so i believe i picked that bag up from aldi um but yes i'm just gonna go ahead and make the meatballs and i'm just gonna get a little salt on this rice real quick and get it right into this instapot and get it going um really simple it's a rice set and cook for eight minute guys if you don't have an instapot what are you thinking Go ahead and get it. It's better than having um, separate appliances that takes up a lot of counter space. So when you have the Instapot, um, it also serves like a slow cooker or crock pot. It has a lot of features on it. So if you have not um, gotten yourself one, it will probably be the best investment that you make. Right now, you can see that I'm showing you some flour. I have this old pretzel container that I buy, like the large 10-pound bag of flour from Sam's Club. And I usually fill this thing up. And any flour that's left over, I normally take into my job. Um, they don't buy a lot of flour for the clients there because they don't encourage a lot of fried cooking. So therefore, on occasion, I take some flours in. And I'm able to fry them some um, chicken or some pork chops or whatever they want deep fried. And it's normally a treat for them. Or we'll do some bacon with it, like um, making some homemade bread and stuff like that. But just so that I don't waste the flour here, I donate it to them. Um, back to today's meal. <laughs> I am right now making a roux, so you'll see where I'm making a flour and a water mixture right in this measuring cup here. And I'm going to use this as my thickening agent. Um, I also have some other spices on the counter, like some Gravy Master, um, if I see the need to use it. Because I also have a packet of gravy. Um, depending on how dark this gravy turns up, I will use that Gravy Master. In addition, I have some seasoning salt and some black pepper, and then I also have some chicken bouillon. Those flavors come together really, really nicely when I make a homemade gravy with the roux, and it's just my go-to combination. Um, I generally use that gravy master if I do not have any of the gravy packet, like you see that I'm using here. I'll just make it with all the other ingredients minus that packet. But right now I'm putting like the chicken bouillon in there and I'm telling you guys, it's so nice and flavorful. So I'm doing all of this to get it to a nice consistency. So what I'm doing, I have it on high heat right now and I'm just stir, stir, stir. You got to stay over here and constantly stir it because you don't want it to um, boil up and get too thick really fast on you. So you got to remain there in case you have to add more water, but. For the most part, I do this often, so I generally got the measurements eyeballed down to a science. Yep, I eyeball that stuff. Um, my kids really, really love this meal. It is TJ's and my oldest grandson, Kyer's favorite. They like anything that I make, like a homemade gravy. I tend to bake chicken, and then I'll do the same thing. Make this gravy mixture, pour over it, slide it in the oven, and baby, that's some good eating. But here it is. This is the nice consistency and the brown color that comes up, which is why I opted not to use that gravy master. So I'm just going to go ahead and and let that um, come up to a nice boil. And right now here are the meatballs, they are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them inside this gravy and I'm just gonna baste them um, periodically and get them nice and well coated. And then they are going to soften and oh my God, they are gonna be so good so so good i do all the seasoning in the gravy because 
if you remember when I put the meatballs in the Instapot, I didn't bother to put any seasoning on them. And I just dumped them right out of the bag frozen. So this is where all the flavor comes in. Um, they get their flavor from the gravy that I'm using. I have used Italian style meatballs in the past, but I'm not too fond of it when I do it with the gravy and rice. So yeah, I just did, um, you know, the traditional meatballs here. Guys, you don't always have to run out to the supermarket to purchase things. Just if you are a prepper stocker and you have some stock in your home, um, just go through like I do. Check your dates and anything that you see that's going to come up for expiration soon or anything you just have a taste for or whatever. Just go in there and combine some things and come up with a nice meal for your family as well. Everything that I'm using today um, is from the home. Um, the gravy items and stuff is from my pantries, um, as well as the rice. Uh, the only thing that I'm using that, you know, from the freezer was the meatballs. And guys, you can find all of these ingredients in your local Dollar Tree. I have seen cut green beans in the Dollar Tree. I have seen smaller bags of meatballs in the Dollar Tree. You may have to get two to three bags or Maybe even more, depending on your family size. Um, you can also find bags of rice in the Dollar Tree. So this is a very, very, very inexpensive meal that you can serve for your family as well. Typically, when I make meals like this, I usually call it making something out of nothing. And if you have not been following my channel very long, you can go into my playlist and you will find an actual playlist entitled Making Something Out of Nothing. And you can find other quick recipes that I um, put together to serve my family, especially when I'm in a rush. Um, during the summer months when I don't want to turn on the oven. So I use my Instapot and air fryer more often because um, it minimizes all the heat throughout the house in the warmer weather. Right now, I just put those green beans in. They're just going to simmer on low heat. I'm getting these dishes cleaned up because I like to clean as I go. Um, again, the boys are in the living room area today. They are doing arts and craft. They're drawing. I have what I believe is going to be a future artist in my home. That is Tizier, my eight-year-old. This boy can draw and I'm encouraging it because I went to school for, um, mechanical engineering well it started off uh machine drafting in high school and then i went on to college for mechanical engineering for anyone who don't know what that is that is drawing blue blueprints i'm sorry for homes um buildings you know bird's eye view um and you had to learn how to do it freehand as well as on a computer so uh it is great money in engineering and i'm gonna I encourage this kid to continue drawing. If not, then maybe he can be like a cartoon artist or something like that. But this guy is so gifted. Um, I am planning on sharing some of his drawings with our church because they have um, youth Sundays on the third Sunday of every month when they sing in the choir. And that entire program is dedicated to the youth. And they like to have parents submit um any awards or certificates or any outstanding achievements that the kids receive. And so I will be submitting some of Tizier's drawings for um, the upcoming Eve Sunday. So here we are, guys, with these meatballs. They are nice and tender. The gravy is nice and thick. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off and look at this. This is the end result, guys. The kids grabbed their plates so quick, I couldn't even take a picture, but this is mine. I am um, going to cut out and have my dinner. Thanks for watching. Love and respect.